Hello, and welcome to episode 69 of my Let's Play Vanilla Minecraft. I am the great KHM. Now, I'll be honest with you, I was trying to come up with some sort of joke for that, but I couldn't come up with one, so, eh. Anyway, so. Yeah, excuse me. Ah. Uh, so. Before we get into Minecraft here, and, what, and looking at what exactly is behind me, I had a uh, hard drive failure. My primary hard drive just decided to stop working. So I lost all the data that was on it. Luckily, while I did lose a lot of very important data to me that's irreplaceable, luckily I was pretty uh, obsessive about backing up my Let's Play Worlds. So, it shouldn't affect any of my series too much. There might be some audio issues from things that need to be readjusting, and plus some video issues, but anyway, hopefully those will just be minor things. Um, anyway, while I was installing, um, or while I was getting the new hard drive set up, I realized that I could just use Windows 10. <laughs> Give that a try. So, I'm currently running Windows 10. It's, uh... It's got issues. Yes. Goodbye. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Did you see that? I, I know you didn't notice what just happened, but that thing went away. The, the, the little box here that just disappeared went back up to the top of the screen. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm pointing that out. It's because I keep having this recurring problem where it just doesn't go away. So if I press this and just click on the game here, I can... Look at this. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh shit. Spoiler. Ah, damn it. I can't look left. Can't look away from it. <laughs> so yeah. Windows 10. Got the menu thing stuck on my screen. It won't go away. Until I click on it. And then it goes away. <laughs> Alright. So... I was debating about whether or not I should really go into detail about things of Windows 10 that I've noticed, but uh, that's probably not a good place for Minecraft Let's Play video, so we're just not going to talk about that now. Instead, we're going to have a look at the work I've done over here. And there we are. I've completed all 16 auto brewers and built the pipes that will bring the items upward. Very, very nice. Now, I haven't tested them, so there's probably going to be some minute configuration changes that I need to make on them, but this is, for the most part, done. We just need to get the uh, alcoves built up, uh, built up up here, and put a shell on this building, and we're pretty much good to go. Now, as you can see, I started laying down a uh, wooden floor thing. This will actually go underneath the floor, so that I can easily just set down pumpkins and things like that. In, in part of the floor without having to go do some weird uh, ninja stuff underneath of it to try to get pumpkins in place. Because that's always fun. Yes. So, as you can imagine, whoops. A lot of redstone went into this. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot of redstone. I, I actually ran out of redstone and had to go back for more. So, yeah, I, think I, I, I couldn't even venture a guess to how much redstone went in this. I want to say more than nine stacks of redstone blocks, but I, I, I'm not sure. So anyway, while well, this does need more work on it to finish it up and everything, this is not actually what I want to work on this episode. Another issue has kind of, well, I, I've known about it for a while, but... It's, it's, I've needed to deal with it for a while, and just kind of been lazing out. But, uh, we're at a point where I, I have to deal with it. Oh, by the way, you'll notice that the uh, minecart here is quieter. This was actually something I did in the last, or before the last episode, but I forgot to mention it. Um, you'll notice that the other sounds are pretty much the same, normal and everything. That's because, uh, 
minecart sounds were kind of annoying the heck out of me. So I went ahead and made my very own resource pack. Which uh, reduces the minecart sounds considerably. They're still minecart sounds. You can sort of hear them if you listen closely. Well, actually, since I probably turned down the volume of the uploaded video, you probably can't. But they're there. They're there. They're just very, very quiet. And not ear-destroying. Okay, now the problem that we need to address is the farm. Because uh, this seems to be an endless source of issues for us. Yeah. <sighs> now, the problem is, is the same problem we've pretty much always had, and that is the collection of the uh, harvested goods. Now, I built this... Uh, rather complex device here to scoop up all the drops and deliver them into a chest um, and this all worked back in the snapshots for 1.8 back when they had the weird minecart stuff but they've since fixed that and uh, well they they've since Readjust the minecart thing, and now minecart. Well, this this thing does not work. The drop off for the items works just fine, but the picking up part does not. So we'll just harvest the stuff, and uh, I'll quickly show you what's going on here. Ah, did you see that? And now they're all busted. Now in case you don't know what ha just happened there, what you just bore witness to... For some reason... The track broke. Where, where's the track? Oh, it's probably... No? They get scooped up by another one? Of course, of course. I, I leave Skype going, and what does it do? It starts... Stuff. How do I do the fuck? I got a new version of Skype, and I don't know how to use the damn thing. Not that I knew how to use the other one before, but you know. Ah, there we go. Do not disturb me. Yes, don't display this information again. Okay. And just do that. Okay. So yeah, that's uh that's an issue. No doubt one of these has the track. Ah yep, yeah, there we are. Yeah, so this issue needs to be dealt with. Ah oh, dear, how am I going to do this? Like this, I guess. There you go, off you go. Okay, I think that's all of them. Okay, yeah, so this thing is like seriously busted.
Now, interestingly enough, uh, uh, the rest of this machinery works just fine. It's just that little bit there that doesn't work. So, we're going to need to do something to make it work. To collect our drops. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to tear apart this whole system. Remove the minecarts from the equation. And uh, we're just going to have the items... Uh, using the new item elevator design, I move the items over, lift them up, shut off this water so it's not annoying me, lift the water up, and then just have it go into hoppers that are like along this wall or something, or maybe along this wall. Yeah! So, I think that's going to be the new plan here. I'll get to work on that, and I'll be back once I have something more to show. Okay, so, working on this and, uh, got quite a bit done. Then I realized I should probably, uh, record some of this, otherwise it's gonna be a tad on the boring side. Basically, I've, uh, redirected the pipe. Come on, move. Redirected the pipe over here. Now it goes up here. We have an item elevator here. I've already tested it out. It works. Um, it's going to go up. Well, obviously, that's kind of what the item elevator is for. Run, damn you, run. Yes, so it's going to go up here. And I'm going to have a uh, item pipe. Carries it over this way. The items will pop up over here. Get carried off in this direction. And then over here, I haven't quite figured out how exactly I'm going to do this, but I'm going to have a line of hoppers that will try to scoop it all up. Now I'm thinking of kind of having the hoppers go off like this direction here and have it go over it, the top of it. So that way, um, well, so if I have uh, hoppers here pointing this way and it's going over that way, then the items will get collected up into this hopper here, but it won't block a um, incoming stuff from being collected as that it will have all these other hoppers for it to travel over to uh, scoop it up. Yes. I'm not entirely sure yet how this is all going to work, but I think that's that's about it. Yes. Okay. So I think I'm pretty much finished here. I've, uh, let's see, I've gone through and I've hooked up the uh, item pipe here. Goes over to here and kind of makes this loop around where we have uh, hoppers going all the way from the chest here, all the way over. Got nine hoppers in a row there, which should be more than enough to deal with uh, all the items. All right, yes. And, uh, just as an interesting little minor note, uh, 1.8.3 literally just came out, um, while I was sitting here waiting for these potatoes to grow, so that, uh, we had something to test this with. It's kind of interesting, just, you know, figured I'd date the video by letting you guys know exactly when this is because you can go look up when that was released all right let's give this a test run oh right sounds i often turn off sounds when i'm just by myself and oh shit ah i just realized i messed up oh well you guys will just n see a black bar at the top of the screen that's because I forgot to correct the uh, height of the window. Forgot to make this borderless. Okay, so the potatoes all went in there. They should all be popping up here. Flying through here. Dang it, I was paying attention to the wrong thing. I think we missed it all. I think we missed all the excitement here. Well, let's have a look. Oh, 
That looks like it worked. Yeah, so this is it. Sweet. It worked. And now it will just slowly drain out of the hoppers into the chest. Perfect. And I'm free to go replant the uh, farms here. How long have I been going for? Probably not a full half hour. Um, I realized uh, my last two videos were a bit on the short side. Hmm, I probably should end it here, though. The only way I could think of to make this longer would be to get a whole bunch of farmers and try to put them in here. Which would be entertaining, but time-consuming. So, you know what, yeah, I'll just go ahead and end it here, and I may or may not just put in farmers uh, in between episodes. So, once again, I am KHM, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.